Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me tell about one of the issues in the world That is standing in a nutshell My name is Susna Salsabila from SMA Muhammadiyah Gembong Poverty case ever occurred at the time of the Prophet Yusuf AS in Egypt The disaster began with a dream of the king of Egypt about a very long dry season Then the Prophet Yusuf explained that it was a warning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the long drought. The drought occurred for seven consecutive years. After the time of the Prophet, the world's first famine occurred in Madagascar. The cause of the famine is extreme climate change. The United Nations says for years without rain in Madagascar left some 30,000 people suffering from famine and food insecurity. The number of victims is expected to increase dramatically when Madagascar enters the famine season before harvest time. Residents in southern Madagascar were forced to eat wild lives and locusts to prevent starvation after successive drugs and sandstorms demand their crops. What they do can cause health problems if it run continuously. Massive famine in Indonesia occurred in 1830 since the enactment of the cultivation policy. These cases continued to increase, especially during the economic crisis in 1930. As a result of the famine, it caused health problems and malnutrition, not only for adults but also for children and toddlers. India is the country that occupies the highest position in stunting cases in the world. Indonesia itself is in the fourth place globally and is in the second place after Myanmar among Southeast Asia countries. Based on data from the World Health Organization, Indonesia is currently in a state of standing emergency. Standing in Indonesia is a threat to the quality of the next generation. In 2013, 37.2% or 8.9 million Indonesian toddlers suffered from stunting. 31.7% of school age children and 20.2% of infants with short birth length. Even standing cases in Indonesia reached 30.8% and in 2019 decreased to 27.67%. However, this figure is still higher than the maximum tolerance for stunting set by the World Health Organization, which is less than 20%. Flores is one of the high incidents of standing in Indonesia, where the condition is very worrying for us about the growth and development of children. Fortunately, the standing condition in Flores has decreased by 8% within 5 years. One of the causes of standing is due to poor nutrition experienced by adolescent girls. Until when she is pregnant, it causes long-term malnutrition which will affect the nutritional status of the fetus she contains. Lack of knowledge of pregnant women and their families about health and nutrition. Difficulties to get nutritious food due to weak economic conditions. Lack of access to clean water and environmental hygiene. This increasing the incidence of infection. The presence of infection causes the number of nutritional needs to increase. Some efforts that can be done to prevent stunting are to prepare for good nutrition during pregnancy, provide exclusive breastfeeding for up to 6 months and complementary foods or MPAC when the baby is 6 months old and continue to breastfeed for up to 2 years. Knowing that stunting is a serious health problem, we can conclude that maintaining health and eating nutritious food is important. Islam teaches us to live healthy and commands us to maintain health in our daily activities. A healthy Muslim will be able to worship Allah Ta'ala to the fullest, because the purpose of human lives is only to worship Allah. Every blessing that Allah has given us is obligatory for us to be grateful for. In the noble hadith above, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam explained the importance of healthy blessings. One way to be grateful for healthy pleasure is to maintain the healthy pleasures themselves. In the Quran, there are many verses that imply the command to maintain health, among which is the word of Allah Ta'ala. A'udzu billahi minash shaitani rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
wa kullu mimma razaqakumullahu halalan tayyiba wa taqullaha antu bihi mu'minun and eat from what Allah has given you as a lawful and good provision and fear Allah in who you believe surah al-maidah verses 88 thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh